Brad Bailey on the Accidental Pundit. You can check out this next video on accidentalpundit.com. My name is Brad Bailey, the Accidental Pundit. My name is Brad Bailey. Hi, my name is Brad Bailey. Brad Bailey. Brad Bailey. Brad Bailey. I'm Brad Bailey. Brad Bailey. I'm Brad Bailey. I'm Brad Bailey. Brad Bailey. This is Brad Bailey. I'm standing here in the middle of Hollywood, here on the eve of the Washington, D.C., Maryland, and Virginia primaries. And I'm trying to understand what regular voters' opinions are concerning a possible Clinton-Obama or Obama-Clinton matchup this fall. Whoever the nominee will be, it's going to be controversial for the Democratic Party. So we're really trying to get the average voters' opinions of whether or not America is ready for a black male president or a white female president or a black male vice president or a white female vice president and the combination of the two. I hope you enjoy. You said you're going to be voting in the general election. Um, who do you think you want to vote for in the general election? Well, you know, as far as the Democratic ticket is concerned, you know, so far as I see it on the Democratic ticket side, if I were to pick um, VP over Pres, I'd put Obama as Pres and Hillary as VP on the Democratic side. I don't really know a lot about the Republican side, but... So why would you do that versus uh, Clinton Obama, since you may have more experience at teams? But would you, why would you pick him as president versus her? I think the youth is part of what yeah. makes him more appealing. Okay. He, yeah, maybe he doesn't have experience, but sometimes experience sometimes experience gets in the way. Of course. And we, you know, if you do what you've always done, you get what you always got. Right. Is it possible he came up with Clinton Obama or an Obama Clinton ticket? Which one would you prefer? And do you think it's a good idea? I, I, you know, I'm leaning more towards Obama now. That's just in the last five minutes of me thinking. It changes every day. I don't know much about either one of them to really uh, care. Okay. Honestly. I've, I've honestly been waiting for one to get nominated before I find out too much about. I'm worried that the one I do like won't be the one nominated. But uh, as far as just personality-wise, I, I find Obama a lot more charismatic, and I Clinton the opposite. So the ticket together would kind of ruin that for me. I think. So you think the ticket would be a bad thing? Yeah. Yeah, I actually would prefer something like Obama Edwards if they're going to choose another. And so, um, so what do you? How do, do you think then that? So you think that America is ready for a black male president and a white uh, female vice president? Not at all. Really? I really don't think America is ready, but I, I'd like to be proven wrong. All right, great. All right, thank you guys. Are you a decided voter? Undecided voter? What's your status right now? I'm undecided right now. How come? Well, I'm just not sure who to vote for. Did you vote in the last primary? No, I didn't. Okay. Was that because you didn't want to or because? It's because I was only 14. <laughs> How old are you now? 18. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'm talking about the one just a couple uh, last week, actually, Super Tuesday. The, oh, don't worry about it. Um, all right. Tuesday. <laughs> Whoever wins the nomination should just pick the other for the VP. How, how come? They'll win. They'll win, hands down. They'll Why do you win. think so? I just think that everybody will vote for them. I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect. It's like the only thing that's dividing that political party right now is almost which one of them those two should, should run. So why not just take that out of the equation? Make it more than just one person. Make it not a figure. Make it one, one party uniting with ideas to, to, to take it back from the other. Obama, Clinton, all the way. Clinton, Clinton would be a fine vice president, if that's what you're asking. Uh, but I, I still recommend her as a president. How come? Her, her, well, I mean, I'm not going to get into everything, but her health care policy is a little, a little out there, a little too hard to, you know, to meet. Okay. Well, uh, and Obama is just much more uh, charismatic, much more enthusiastic, and a great speaker in general compared to Clinton, in my opinion. Last Tuesday, did you go for it or? No, I did not. Okay. Did you not want to, or I'm just curious? No, I didn't really want to. I don't know. It seemed like kind of a waste of time. I was going to the beach that day. Okay. I think that they both have some solid points. Um, I think that a lot of middle America might not be ready for either candidate. Okay, how come? Um, based on race and sexuality, I mean, we haven't had either or. Okay. So if either of them won, it would be a first. But I think okay. that middle America might have different opinions, but I do think that America as a whole might be ready for it. And given our past, it might be ready for some kind of change. So it might okay. be, I think it might be a positive thing. 
So, um, would you could, would you consider yourself voting for that ticket, possibly? Possibly. Possibly. If, if if they did team up, who do you think would be a better president or vice president? I think Obama would be stronger. Really? How come? Yeah. I think Hillary might have shot herself in the foot a couple of times with some of the things she said and done. Okay. And I think uh, America might have already had their fill of her okay. in the past when she was quote unquote first lady. Yeah. So I think uh, along the lines of change that I think Obama might be a fresher choice. Okay. But I do think Hillary has a good point and so she might be great in a Complement each other. So which one um, do you support? Either one of them? No, no, no. You, neither of them. No. Who, who do you support? If I had to support, if I had to support one of them, it'd probably be him. Okay. And not her. Okay. Uh, How come? I think she lies a lot, and she just tries to do what she can to get what she wants. Okay. So and if I honestly, I don't know who would I would support right now. But if it came down to it, it sure wouldn't be them. Do you think then that your vote matters or what? I don't think it really matters. What do you think then of the issue with the Clinton-Obama or Obama-Clinton ticket? One president, one vice president. What's oh, your yeah, opinion definitely, about it? Yeah. Really? I think they're definitely going to win then. Really? Yes. Do you think the world is ready to see that? Yes, if they work together. If they work together. Do you think that's possible? I don't know. I don't know that much about the two of them. Do you think our, our image abroad would change if one of them became president simply by the pure symbolism of yeah. either having a black man or a woman there? How, what do you think so? Yeah, just be more than ours. We just wait, you know, until the 21st century, so. But do you think then, how did then having a woman president change Britain, in your opinion? Do you think it really made a difference? Yeah, or? women got better um, paid and respected more in the industry. I work in the pharmaceutical industry, which is normally male dominated, but okay. it, it opened a lot of avenues probably for a lot of women to go more into business. Okay. Like that, yeah, so. Okay, I great. Great. Well, thank you very much. I think uh, before everyone even votes, I think the president or whoever has already decided, I think, it doesn't really matter. You're all young voters, I want to hear your opinion. Of course, I'm black, as you can see. <laughs> I would say, uh, not just because I'm black, but Obama, definitely. Uh, I definitely appreciate what he's saying, what he's talking about. I was thinking with Obama. I understand where he's coming from, I love what he's talking about, you know, the environment and everything else. And that's my vote. I think Obama also, because he has a good, um, reason for everything that he's doing and he makes a good stand for his own opinion and he also listens to others instead of just focusing on his own opinion. Well, we probably need men. A woman is good, but running the country or helping a man run the country, I mean, that could be, you know, that could, that could, that could be good, but this is not a game. This is everybody. Like, this is everybody in the U.S. We need men. But you, you think so, but there's lots of experienced women though that can run. You don't think a woman can run the country? I'm sure they could. I'm sure we would be ready for it sometime, but right now... I don't now, think right now we're ready for a woman president. But in the future, yes. But right now they need more experience in different areas of the government. You know what, at first I said, you know, we're not ready for, you know, I wasn't ready for Obama to be president because he's black and I don't want him to get killed or assassinated. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what, the time is now, you yeah. know, there's no need to fear because, you know, God has not said nothing to fear. To, to fear. So I think, you know what, uh, Barack Clinton, let's do it. Really? You think it's Definitely. a good idea? We, let's do it. What about you, Mark? I'm going for Obama all the way. I'm from Chicago. Okay. I've seen him at church before. He's okay. a man of leadership. Yes, he does a lot of touring also with the National Baptist Convention. And he's a great man. It's he time really for change. Is. It is. It's time for a change. And it's let us not be afraid. Because that's what, that's what I think it was I was before. You know, afraid. Like, you know, I don't want to be ready for that. But the time is now. I think it should be Obama Clinton. Yeah. No matter what, regardless. Because, Why are the two of them together? I'm sorry? Why are the two of them because together? Because they're, they're both of them. Both aspects is complete change. We've never had anything like this before. A woman and a black man. Yeah. And then both of them, I, I, I like both of their values. Yeah. I think Clinton, she's, I think she's a dynamite woman, you know? Hella experience. I think she would be dynamite as well, you know, making really great decisions. You know, but Obama. Obama, Obama and Hillary vice president. That would be so talking. bomb. Wow. All right, great. Great guys, thank you very much. No uh, I mean, but do you? I mean, do you think the Republicans can beat them? Do you think they would be a beatable combination this fall? I think so. Really? Yeah. My dad's a Republican, and he can beat everyone. <laughs> and I think so. I'm Brad Bailey.